Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video I'm going to show you how to share folders on Ubuntu through the network. So let's go to the tutorial, it's in the description. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open up your home directory. Now this is my home directory. I've got lots of different stuff in here. Now I'm going to create a shared folder, and I'm just going to call it Files to Share. All right, so I've got that folder created. Let's go back to the tutorial. Now, once I've found, now I want this folder to be shared. So once I've found it, I can right click on the folder and I can click local network share. Now this is gonna open up a thing here. And if you see in the tutorial, it's using the default Ubuntu theme, but I'm still using Ubuntu, but you'll see this little window here. And uh, I, the reason I'm showing you the tutorial is because it's gonna show you sharing services not installed and you're going to want to install it. Now I already have sharing service installed. I do use this feature sometimes, but uh, just wanted to show you what that looks like. So when you try this on your system, you will need to install that. And if you need help with this, just go to the tutorial and it will show you what to do. Once you've got the sharing service though, you can click share this folder. You can change the share name. I, you know, the folder might be called share to or files to share, but uh, you know, that's not exactly like descriptive enough uh, for some people maybe. So let's go Derek's folder to share, especially if you have multiple shares on your network like I do. It was like random stuff. Now you can say guest access so that anyone can access it no matter what and allow people to create stuff in the folder and click create share. Now it's gonna tell me that it needs to change permissions and I can click add the permissions automatically. Now we see this little icon here. This says that it's shared to the network. So I think I can do it on my own computer here, but if we go to other locations, we can see my desktop now shows up in networks. Uh, for some reason it's not letting me access it, but I uh, should be able to do SMB Ryzen desktop. And that's my own desktop. I don't think I can connect to my own computer, but uh, the, rate, the way you know that this is working is you can see that it is sharing this should be already sharing. It's got the icon here. And uh, let me open up a virtual machine so I can access it. All right, so I had to open up a virtual machine because apparently you cannot access a Samba server of your own computer on your own computer. But as we can see, the folder that I just shared is now accessible to this other Linux computer. And if I was using a Windows PC as well, I would be able to access it too. I'm going to, it's a little slow because it's a VM, but, uh, and it's apparently giving me trouble, but it is accessible. And if I put files in here, I can access it on any computer on the network. So if I go into my pictures folder, just copy some, some of my favorite wallpapers that you guys have probably seen me use over the years. And I put it into the folder to share it will be accessible. Let's go back here. So now as we see, I instantly put it in there and now I can instantly access these files from my folder to share and copy it directly over. And you know, this, this other computer, because we set that setting up where you can create folders and files, you can also create a folder from the remote machine. So VM folder, Let's just make that. And then if I go back uh, to my file manager and I press F5, it should show up, but it's not showing up. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I did something wrong. But yeah, as you can see, these folders are shared between, and uh, that's all that you really need to do. So this is how you can share folders on your local network on Ubuntu. I hope this video was helpful. It's a very useful feature, especially if you don't have a home server or you just want to share some quick stuff with another computer and you don't want to deal with all of those apps and, and stuff like that. It's very useful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.